Project 1080 uh, going in the water today. Been a long, uh, that's what we call it a project anyway. Been a long uh, drill. We thought it was going to take four months, five months. We're already up to about eight months maybe. Uh, here we are in January, but we're getting ready to splash on a beautiful day. I've got our rigger, Pat Sullivan, from Performance Training on his way over here to the boat ramp. We're going to put her in the water, fire up those Mercury Racing 540s, and uh, take a ride offshore and see how she runs. We started the uh, project in February. We talked to Mercury last year at the Miami Boat Show. and. Uh, we presented the concept of the Project 1080 to Mercury Racing. We didn't call it the Project 1080 yet because we were thinking of either 520s or 540s. But I kind of got the idea from Cigarette when they built their first uh, 41 stern drive center console. They called it the they called it the 1040, which was, twin, was twin 520s. I remember Skip Braver brought that that boat on the Key West Poker Run back about five years ago. So uh, when we finally decided after the deal was, no, that's not gonna work. After the deal was finalized with Mercury, we decided on 540s and that of course then took it to the Project 1080, became the Project 1080. So here we are. We got Project 1080 in the water. Those 540s uh, fired up and burned like kittens. Uh, it's a beautiful day here on a Wednesday. We're almost at the Hillsborough Inlet. Uh, we're gonna run out and uh, take a northeast heading and get out into the ocean and see how she runs. We're not gonna try to set any speed records today. Remember, we still have the original Bravo propellers. We haven't experimented with any new props. Uh, Pat Sullivan uh, from Performance Trading here in the boat. Uh, my rigging. Uh, extraordinary specialist and uh, pretty much got a finished boat here ready to roll We're about a couple minutes from the inlet now and uh, gonna give her gonna give her some throttle and see how she rides.
indicators for your drive. My tap controls are here. Yep. Pat, thanks for everything. It's been a thank you, Stu. It's been a learning uh, experience for all of us. Uh, taking a 20-year-old boat and putting 2018 circa 2019 power, Mercury Racing power, for all you guys at home that are ever thinking about doing this project, I'd say go for it. Um, the, the whole race to repower idea with Mercury Racing was what got me thinking about this. Uh, they say cheaper to keep her. I think that kind of uh, falls into play here because for me to turn around and buy a brand new cigarette. I mean, I'd love to give Skip Raver my money, but I think it's about a half a million dollars. When it's all said and done, I think this is about, uh, this boat comes in at just under 300,000. Uh, fully rigged with all new paint, new interior, new rigging. We've got a, uh, a Vessel View 703 here. In the Vessel View, you can have this page up that shows your tab location and your drive trim. Right. And your tax. Right. With the touch of the Mercury logo, now all of a sudden, oh, you just touch, that. touch okay. your Mercury logo, okay. and now you're looking at your engine temperature, your coolant temp, right. the water pressure in the engines, right. your oil pressure, and then your fuel flow. Let's talk about the DTS, the shift and throttle. Very smooth actuating. I'm just gonna basically do a fingertip actuation there. So basically, I mean literally fingertip control. Well, as we both know, Stu, the old cable system sometimes was quite cumbersome, and your levers were a lot longer. Right. Hence, Mercury has streamlined the throttle and the shifter because it is literally effortless right. to go in and out of gear. It really and it, is. It I does mean, make docking a lot easier. We talked about dialing the boat in and obviously finding the right propeller. We're going to need to get the RPM up by almost 1,000. Yeah. Okay. So we've got to come down in pitch right. by almost two to three sizes. Right. In the meantime, we've got a boat that runs about 70 475. When you did the retro, the, the controls, of course, have to be DTS because the new engines are DTS. Right. But you also went with the one touch start stop. Yes. The T switches are hidden inside. Yes. Okay. Also, now it's not common on the older boats. Your trim tab and your drive switches are also waterproof. Uh, great job, Pat. Thanks to Performance Trading. Thanks to Mercury Racing. And we hope you enjoyed this episode of the Project 1080 HP as we uh, go through the paces and get ready for our first poker run.